Ah. Ah. Dad. Dad. I was sitting on the phone with Steven and Sebastian was sitting on my lap facing me. And in a 20 minute phone conversation, I saw him blink and have this subtle eye roll about as many times. I really didn't know what to do at that point. So I thought, well, I mean, what is there to do? I can take him to the ER. Two. In triage, the nurse saw what I was seeing, Four. these eye rolls, and she said, I, I see it. She rushed us into the ER, and they saw he was in status. So he had been having one seizure after another, after another, without any break. That buzz. Can you press the button? When she was about five, we noticed that we would be calling her and she wasn't responding. He would drop and he would jerk mostly on the right side of the body for anywhere from a minute to two minutes and then he'd pretty much be gone the rest of the day sleeping or with a headache. Su boca, su cara se toda brincó para un lado y sus manos empezó a torcer, su pierna y se puso todo morado. Cuando el ataque paró, él se puso como muy blanco. The different things that people tell you to try. Hey, Laura, I'm taking off. Different things that keep you from living your life. Good morning, Sean. Come on in. Morning, Zanker. How are you? Got a little coffee? So Absolutely. Reason okay. that I don't even know why. Okay. I feel the need to tell you that I know that so you're going to be fine. <laughs> Well, there are more than 300,000 people in the Bakersfield area, approximately 1 to 2% of the population suffering from epilepsy. We estimate that there are nearly 3,000 kids who need specialized epilepsy care. There is only one pediatric neurologist in this area. We live in UCLA's backyard, and we, you know, serendipitously have a great neurology team, but there's a lot of people out there that are far less fortunate. Dr. Sankar and his neuro team make an incredible effort to go up to Bakersfield and Kern County to service those folks. Among children with epilepsy, half the cases are slam dunks. You don't have to have that specialized epilepsy training. Many kids will be successful with a single medication in many cases, it doesn't even matter which one you choose. But for the other half, that sophisticated approach is absolutely necessary. It's, I wouldn't say the difference between life and death, it's the difference between life and a fate worse than death. What's your favorite toy? Blocks. Oh yeah? Do your friends know about your seizures? No. Do you tell them? The way I've always thought about epilepsy is it's, it's a, if your child was a computer or a hard drive and you kept unplugging it and plugging it and unplugging it and plugging it, I mean, you're just doing incredible damage to your child. And development is a very um, cumulative process. And the more, the more you interrupt the development, the, the more you're going to create delays. Dame cinco. Y el otro mano. Muy bien. Arriba. Abajo. Ah, muy bien. Muy rápido. How is he doing? Awesome. 
No seizures. If somebody starts with severe seizures in very early life and do not get the appropriate referrals and treatment, it places them at considerable risk. If they don't get to a specialist, they end up getting this uh, one treatment fits all approach. They get heavily medicated. The next thing you know, the seizures are poorly controlled. They're prone to injury, prone to continued mental uh, deterioration. So we're all set. Your device is working well, and it is helping you. Epilepsy is one of the oldest neurological disorders, yet it's one of the most underfunded, underserved conditions. So much so that pediatricians don't recognize it. Um, neurologists don't, either they're overwhelmed with a waiting list, or they don't have time, or they're not treating it with the most up-to-date medical research. And we have these neurologists that are just so underfunded, but they're desperate to get to the more cutting-edge research, the more cutting-edge technologies. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. Ready to engage. Bye. I went up to do a problem on the board for math and I collapsed and I couldn't see nothing and they had to send me to the office and then these boys started making fun of me called me retarded That's terrible. I cried I'm glad we've gone a long way since then Let me have you jump up here on the table. Kids with epilepsy need our help. And most of all, we need pediatric epileptologists who can treat them appropriately and restore the normalcy of their life. Now, since my medication got better, I only have one seizure this year. I can do sports and stuff and don't have to worry about having seizures. I'm reading much better. I'm reading much better. Care and Cure made it possible for me to do my pediatric neurology fellowship. Without it, I'm not sure where I would have gone. He has been so overwhelmingly impressive for us that I am now keeping him, and he will also be undertaking some research projects. Then we'll have one more expert epileptologist for the children in this region. And I wish I could speak to say something you need. Give you the comfort that you see. Hello. 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 In the ways that you need me, I'm coming back. Ooh, my love. It's the ways that you need. Dr. Hussein.